Hey guys, so right now I'm in my bathroom and I just want to film a go-to everyday makeup tutorial. And I just feel like I have my own style, the way I do my makeup, and I don't really switch it up, but I always switch up the products and like do new things and stuff like that. So I know you guys like to see updated versions because like I said, when you time goes by, you just like swap your concealer or change the shade or change just certain things and I've changed a lot but it's still the same look and I'm just really excited to show you guys so I'm going to show you every single thing I use every step and I'm just really excited because I love doing makeup and I love to just be behind the camera and look at myself so right now I just have moisturizer and my eyebrows done and then from there I'm just going to go and show you guys what I use like I said I'm so excited because I love all of these products so much and I'm just so happy to show you guys and yeah okay so after you do your eyebrows and you do your moisturizer that's when you go in with foundation oh my gosh I'm just like so excited I just you guys I'm just excited period Okay, so for my foundation, I'm going to be using Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation and the color is medium 18 and medium 21. I have so many of these. I love the packaging. Here's another one. And I use multiple bottles because I just feel like my skin always changes. I also just like to have multiple shades because my forehead's dark and it's light over here and then just like all this stuff. So. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to apply this to my face and usually I'll just do a light shade Ooh. and I won't use that much. I actually don't use like too much foundation, but I just like to put it in places. So this is the lighter shade and I'm just putting this as if it's concealer. And I like to use a small brush because I can get into these little parts here like this and just cover all my blemishes on my face. I can already tell I'm just gonna look so good. And then after that, I'm just going to put a pump of the darker shade here. Just taking the back of an eyeshadow palette just to put the foundation because I like to put the foundation on something and then use like kind of spread it out and then apply it to my face and then I'll put it here oops that was too low and this is the darker shade so I just do it to warm my skin up I honestly feel like I can even go out like this it just looks so light and natural and I'm obsessed with it Now I'm going to use a concealer for under my eyes. This is the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Concealer in M18. So this is pretty much, I don't know if it's like the same, I would say it's like the same color as my skin, but it's a decent shade because I don't like to go too light. So it's actually just perfect, the shade, I don't know if you can tell. It's like literally the exact same color as like my under eye and that's why I love it so much. Yay! I found my beauty blender and now I'm going to blend it out. That was a good amount of time so I'm just going to blend it out. As you can see, it's like lightning but it's just like the perfect amount of coverage and lightning and it just looks so good and I'm just like all for light, beautiful makeup, just things that enhance you and this stuff is just like, I'm so excited. Okay, I just, need to, I just need to relax. I just need to chill because I just get too excited, girl. Like I said, I personally leave the concealer on and I just let it sit because I feel like once it starts to dry and then you blend it out, it just leaves more coverage and just looks so good. So I didn't tell you what this was. This is the Pat McGrath. Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Setting Powder. And this is what I'm gonna use. This is number three. It's more of just like a really nice bronze color. And I just like to use it as my eyeshadow. 
and it just is so nice because it's just like a translucent powder but since you when you use it as a a bronzer or a color it's so light and it just looks so natural and it sets and it's just so amazing so I'll go ahead and do that and it just gives you a light bronze it doesn't give you too much because I like more of a natural like crazy glam oh my gosh this looks so freaking good and then I'll just continuously go overboard because the color is so pretty and then I just won't be able to stop same thing with the blush and everything I just kind of always go overboard this color is so beautiful it's like let me show you again it's like an orangey bronzy it's just so pretty okay, and then now I'm gonna go and do literally my favorite part in the entire world and that is eyeliner you guys fully i buy this on my own i'm so obsessed with these eyeliners i don't know how many i've had this is by far honestly genuinely my favorite eyeliner because it's so easy to use i use it every time it doesn't matter if i went out in the night for lunch anytime i do eyeliner anytime you see my eyeliner on instagram or anywhere this is the eyeliner pencil i use it's so thin just feels like you're holding a pencil and you can literally just write on paper with this I'm obsessed and I can go on forever. I'm just gonna do my eyeliner really quick and I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna try to how I do it here. So I start here. I have to do this off camera because I just cannot or you can watch me. And now I'm gonna use Pat McGrath's Dark Star Mascara which is amazing. And when it comes to mascara, I personally like a lot of it. Some people don't. I literally love it. And this is like the perfect wand to literally pack on mascara for me. It just gives you like really huge doll eyes and I'm obsessed with. I literally honestly could go out like this because that's just how pretty like all the makeup is and this is why it's so satisfying for me to just do my makeup because every step just is so fun so and next fun step is blush again oops so for blush I like to do a cream blush and then a powder blush um, I have so many pat lipsticks and pat lip glosses and all these colors that um, I was just like why not just use the lipstick as a blush and that's just something that I kind of do so you can use any honestly any shade from Pat because all the colors are beautiful um but one of my favorite lipsticks to use as a cream blush is Christy I have two actually but I can't find another one is the shade Christy because it's like a really pretty pink and I love having pink pink cheeks so what I'll do is put it on my cheeks and some people might say that's a lot but for me it's nothing and then I'll blend it out using a blending brush oh my goodness every single step to me is my favorite step every time I'm just like hey this is my favorite step but I don't know, if I had to choose between eyeliner and blush, if I had to let one go, I feel like I would not do either. And I'll just blend it out. And then I'll start to put it closer here. Um, Cause that's just how I do my makeup. And it gives you like a really pretty, oh my gosh, you guys, this color is so beautiful. I just wanna add more, but I'm just not going to. I'm really, really tempted. But nope, I'm gonna add more. Yeah, she's gonna do more. And then I also have a fun trick, just in case you feel like you've done too much. Um, personally, it's never too much blush for me, honestly. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I look amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and use some powders. I have so many powders. I'm gonna go ahead and, where'd it go? Use. This one, and this is Pat's Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Powder. So it looks like this. 
I've used many of these. They're amazing and super lightweight. So I'll just go ahead and set under my eyes, which I kind of wanted to, but no, I don't think I have to. And it gives you a really airbrushed look. On my forehead. If you want it to bake, you could literally just do something like that and it'll leave like a really nice highlight, but I don't want to do that because I want to have some sort of dewy look. My face literally looks like it has a filter on it now. My cheeks. And this is a great thing to do. Put the translucent over your blush. Oops, that's a lot. If you feel like you use too much, which I didn't, but I'm just doing it to show you guys how much of a filter this powder makes your face look like you have on. So this is the same powder and this is a medium deep four and I'm gonna use this as a bronzer. So that was medium deep four, just to give me some color in my face. Okay, last couple steps before I literally, I, I look so good. Okay, so last couple steps is I'm going to put on a lip liner. So I use multiple lip liners. I actually have plenty um, from here. So this is not the right one. This is Blitz Brown. It's a glittery brown shade, but I think I'm gonna do more of a non-glittery. So this is ground control. This is a nice brown color. I used it quite a bit. Love it. And I'm just going to line my lips with it. It's kind of like a brown color and it works well with her glosses. So I'm going to just put it on. I like more of a natural, like vibe-ish kind of. And this can get really dark really fast. See how it looks even good like this. You can do this and then put a, you can just line it and then put a clear lip gloss on it and be done. But you know me, I need a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Flush Fantasy Lust Gloss, and I'm just going to put this in the middle. And this is like literally the exact same color as like my lip with no liner. And then you can keep adding it to make it lighter if you feel like you put too much lip liner. And then if it gets too light like this, how I feel like it's a little bit too light, then you can just go back in with ground control here. And just put a little bit of color there at the top. So this is one of Pat's Divine Blush Trios, and one of my favorite blushes from hers is Divine Rose, which is this one. It's a matte pinky shade, obviously like something that I really, really love. So I'm going to add that, and that's going to be the last step to what I do. And I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm actually going to use Pat Brush. This is a blush brush um, that works amazing with these. So I'm just going to tap it and just add it to my cheeks. I almost like just can't get enough. And I can just continue over and over again. As you can see, I'm going kind of crazy, but. And that is pretty much my go-to makeup look. It's so me and I just feel so pretty. I can just look at myself Guys, look at this. Look at my material. Let me go ahead and brush my hair. So this is the look all together. Like I said, this is my go-to. So this is like a go-to makeup look. I can honestly wear this in the daytime, in the nighttime. It's literally just like a signature look that I do. And it's so pretty. Like I just kind of want to like get out of the frame and like stare at myself. Like I always do. Yeah, I kind of want to actually lighten up my lip because it's just like not light enough. So of course I'm going to go ahead and take a really light lip gloss. So this is Future Femme Less Gloss. This is like going to lighten up because I just feel like it's a little too... It doesn't really go with my blush. See how I just lighten it up immediately? It's so fun playing with these lip glosses because you can make so many different colors. I want it just a little bit more baby pink, how my lip liner, how my um, blush is, and that literally just like helped me. Like, so, yeah, I'm definitely making this into a lip combo. So, 
just to show you it one more time because I'm actually really obsessed with this lip liner, with this lip pomo right now. Okay. So this is a new lip combo creation that I'm obsessed with. I just made it right now off the top of my head. So this is a ground control lip liner, flesh fantasy, less gloss, and then to lighten it up, it's future femme, less gloss. And I just want to add, I just can never stop adding more makeup. It's just never enough, really. This is just like my everyday going out, going to lunch. It just goes with everything. And I just like, I'm so obsessed. And I just, I'm so happy the way it came out. I mean, like, this is how it comes out every single time. But of course, I'm obsessed. So yeah, like, I'm just like obsessed. Matte, but supernatural. And I just feel like the gloss makes it so much more pretty. So gorgeous. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time with maybe a fun eyeshadow look or maybe who knows, but I can show you guys more lip combos and stuff like that, but continue to let me know what you guys want to see me do in regards to updated makeup and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.